All right, we are going to get into Mouse Rat versus Genova. Okay. I, I, okay. Wow. I respect the cloud pick. Yeah. I do. I do respect the cloud pick more in the drum. Makes sense. Um. This is actually opinion that Dark Blues shared with me. Um, that he feels like Cloud actually still does well against Pika. Um, because of his range and everything, which I do agree. He's three back. Well here. enough that, well, well enough that a back that a character can do, you know. Um, and then Spargo shared the same opinion. Spargo and some shared the same opinion when um Dark Blues got mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to get and um As long as Genova shows an ability to recover, then Excuse me. He should be okay. The mouse rat is not playing in the game right now. I'll say this, Cloud in general, you know, you, you definitely don't want to be off stage, especially against a character like Pikachu, because obviously that's gonna result in death. But when they're both on stage, I feel like ground control throw actually skews more towards Cloud's favor because not only does he have the dish points, but he actually does have the speed to kind of compete with Pika. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and also, ooh, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. I don't know why he went with that. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay. I believe that's like a semi spike, if I recall. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a semi spike. I think it clinked with the upbeat when he did that. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, there, there are a few advantages Cloud has in the air. Um, a lot of the time you can wall it with back airs, and when Pikachu tries to quick, down, uh, quick attack onto flat for safety, you can usually cover that with up air or bear. Um, so he definitely has that advantage. The only issue really is off stage, and I think as Genova keeps a good on stage presence, he should be fine. Yeah, and um, one thing I will say is that. Um, Nair is actually pretty useful in this matchup um, because Cloud Nair is like it's an okay move. I don't think it's a very good Nair, but it's okay, right? Um, but what you can do is that you can actually stuff out some creep keep his approaches with Nair. It is a hitbox that can actually interfere with me. Yeah. Do you like right there? Yeah. It's, it's good for covering flats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm definitely trying to get that shield poke really hard right now. <laughs> Ooh, man, and yo, oh, man, one thing that Genova needs to watch out for is jumping out of the corner. So, like, this is definitely a matchup where you need to watch her jumps out of the corner, especially with a character like Cloud with, like, success recovery. Um, you can get blown up for doing stuff like that. So that's one thing you need to watch for. You see Mouse Rush. Mouse Rush already had hunting for, for a forward air out of anything, so. All right, gonna set him off stage. Do it. Go for it, just go for it. He wants a cross slash so bad. <laughs> <laughs> he works right, across like so bad. <laughs> okay, recovery. Ooh, um, dangerous scenario. Okay, good blade beam to cover. Ah. Alright, so there are two ways that you know, we can go about this on the stage. Either go for a dash attack for the kill, or ethyl. Depending on the scenario. Yeah. If he doesn't get that, then it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, because right now he's just getting pushed at the ledge. He, needs to, he might need to come down with the hitbox sometimes. Because the way um, Mouse Rack is charging his, uh, charging his disadvantage, like, you know, he's doing a lot of up airs and stuff like that. And something like Cloud Downer could beat it out. But... Side mix up. Ooh, it doesn't get. Oh no, it doesn't get that punish. Mouse Rat actually having trouble killing him. Like you said, if you know, you know, get like maybe like a straight dash attack like or tilt or something, you know, it'll be in business. Oh, 
Yeah, perfect. Yeah, and he got back to stage with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still not enough. Wait, not enough. Yeah, but not going to by that. Okay. That was good stuff in Master. Like, even, um, good survivability by Genoa, but also good stuff in Master by, uh, keeping that like, ledge trap situation. Oh jeez, Mouse right now in his element. He's getting so much damage off of these drag down combos. And I'm really liking how Genova is mixing up his recovery. Yeah, Genova's way of recovering is actually really good. Especially when he does like the reverse up E, so just barely hit Mouse Rat, get the up E hitbox. Stuff like that, just to make it harder for you to shoot and nail the edge guards. Yeah, you dodge it. Yeah. Um, like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure that he is a Krom main, so his way of recovering is probably because he plays Krom. So um, the air dodge, the air dodge recoveries and stuff like that is probably the reason why he's so good at it. But uh, yeah, I just feel like uh, he he actually had trouble kind of getting Mouse right off of him, right? I feel like uh, the better that second stock was, you know, but kind of just turtled and shield. It was more about just like surviving rather than fighting back in that second and third stuff. I mean, what do you think? What do you think, uh, Genova can do to uh, turn it around? Um, honestly, I think Genova's game plan was pretty solid for the most part. I would say just don't be afraid to commit to a move with limit because it seems like Genova played a little bit safer than he needs to. Sometimes you kind of just have to throw out the, the blade meme or the upbeat. Because a lot of times, if you have limit, one of the best ways to kill somebody is add a shield up to you. And I felt like Mousetrap wasn't 100% really facing his attacks. And so sometimes baiting a shield and doing an add a shield punch is kind of the way you want to do it. Lilac, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is actually a really good pause stage. Um, a lot of plat a lot of um, platforms for Claude to stand his combos off of. A lot of platforms for him to do an upbeat and land on a top platform. Ooh, like right there. Wow. So this is um this is actually a good thing. This is like this is used to be like the Smash War pick for a lot of the Claude being cool too. So not surprised. No right, you see you see a little bit more in airs coming out from um Genova. Yeah, do it again. Ooh. Oh, again? Bro, stop again. acting. Stop <laughs> acting, please. You're gonna die. Again? <laughs> oh no, he missed his opportunity. That, that was actually the punish right there. Nice. See, like, these, like, these platform formation actually helps quite a lot. Yeah, certainly, certainly. Yeah, no, I'll start playing it too. Um, see hey, how he, he hasn't really committed to a forwarder yet. Like you were saying, Master Out's pulling back, but he doesn't want to get punished by that um, help you out of shield. Nice forwarder. You know, see, I, I've always noticed this trend amongst the two players where they do kind of struggle to kill. It's always made me wonder, like, does drag down air or does any sort of drag material combo into a smash attack? It seems like most of the answer is no, because it's more close up with the true combo. But at the same Wait. time, I also see them doing a lot of drag down and like, down smashes, and it's like, why not do that? Are you talking about Pikachu? Pikachu? Yeah, for Pikachu, because Pikachu to me has, in past iterations of Smash, has had that trouble uh, to kill. But in this game in particular, I feel like you have so many options, especially with the new control air. Um, yeah. It makes me wonder why they didn't go for that. Perhaps just an overcommitment for them, because they're afraid. In that case, it makes sense. Um, but a lot of times, I feel like Nostra can usually wow. seal it out. Yeah, um, it is a move, actually. Uh, I mean, it is a pretty good move to sell stocks, because you can confirm it into a down smash. And 
Um, okay. That was just beautiful pull off stage play. That was yeah. really good. Strat. But um, that Nair is a move that Cloud can punish out of his, out of shield. So maybe that's the thing why he's just not mashing Nair on Cloud shield a lot. Yeah. Like and Mount's trying to general safe player, so it makes sense. Yeah. Ooh, Nair's in down tilt. Yeah, yeah. Genova hasn't been able, been able to get anything started really. Um. Oh, yeah, good tech. Nice he needed that tech. Oh man, he's about to get limit now. Okay, I respect Ooh. it. I respect it, I respect it, okay. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's good risk. Because mm -hmm. even if he misses it, he still is able to recover back on stage and gain stage control, so he's fine. You know, I feel like, you know, you have to you have to go for him like that in this situation. This, this type of depth. Um, but yeah, man, he, the, yeah, Mousetrap is playing really safe, and he's playing in a way where it's really hard to hit him. Um, did he fall out of that? I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna lie. I think he did. It's like he did a fair, covered the up with the second fair, and it just fell out. And then he got tickled. Second hit, and then, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that sucks. You know what sucks about that? I feel like if he got hit all the way out, he probably would have had a better chance to recover. Well, yeah, good stuff on Mousetrap there. Like, you know, he didn't really give Genova room to hit him, or... Even a capacity to feel like it was comfortable to hit him, you know? Sure.